On Salisbury Island, one of the southern Gulf Islands off the west coast of British Columbia, lies a 26-acre farm home to a locally owned business, Salisbury Seeds. Salisbury Seeds was founded by Dan Jason and is owned and run by Dan and his partner, Celeste. Their seeds are grown using sustainable, traditional, and organic practices and are sold to customers all across and outside of Canada. My name is Madeline Woodley, and I am a third year student in the Natural Resources Conservation Program, majoring in Science and Management at the University of British Columbia. I am also a part of the UBC Forestry Co-op Program, and this summer, for my co-op work term, I had the incredible experience of working for Dan Jason as the head gardener of Salt Spring Seeds. During my work term, Dan, who is not only an avid gardener and seed saver, but also an author and educator on sustainable agriculture and seed saving practices, shared with me his vision of how agriculture can be done in harmony with natural systems and processes to work towards a more sustainable, resilient, and ecologically conscious future. As a conservation student, my undergraduate coursework focuses on topics such as conservation policy, forest ecology, plant biology, and so much more. Through an interdisciplinary lens, we explore complex issues, considering different stakeholder perspectives, the relationship between diversity and resilience, and the potential for industries to become more sustainable through incorporating natural systems into their design and function. Over the course of the summer, I was able to apply what I've spent the last few years learning in an academic setting and to deepen my understanding as I experienced firsthand what feeding the planet could look like if done sustainably and how conservation objectives can be realized within a working landscape. As the only full-time employee working on a relatively small-scale farm, I had the unique opportunity of personally carrying out much of the day-to-day -day operations on the farm. My responsibilities varied greatly throughout the season as I followed each plant's trajectory from being started by seed to the individuals producing the seed themselves. I began in late spring by planting much of the 2021 seed stock. Some varieties were direct sown while others were started in flats and later transplanted from the greenhouses to the gardens. Throughout the entirety of the four months, I was responsible for general maintenance of the gardens, which included tasks such as watering, weeding, mulching and pruning, as well as adapting to unforeseen stressors such as late frosts, heat waves and droughts. Late summer brought the season for seed, during which I harvested over 100 different plant varieties. This gave me the opportunity to learn the harvesting process for each type of plant, from gathering seed to drying, cleaning and finally packaging. Through this experience, along with my own research and learning, I was able to gain insight into what small-scale sustainable agriculture requires and how growing food in harmony with natural ecosystems and processes can contribute to making the agricultural industry more ecologically conscious and resilient to climate change and population growth. The prospect of moving away from large-scale conventional farming, which for the most part relies on monocultures and the heavy use of chemicals and machines, means that we can stop degrading and exhausting our natural resources in the name of agriculture. Instead, we can introduce practices such as rotating and diversifying crops and increasing the amount of soil organic matter through cover cropping or mulching to carry out agriculture in a way that leaves the land healthy and fertile. This is and will be especially important as the demand for arable land rises while the amount available dwindles due to poor land management practices and climate change related loss and degradation. Small-scale farms employing ecologically conscious management practices have been found to be considerably more biodiverse than large-scale conventional farms. In supporting a higher amount of crop and non-crop biodiversity, small farms can effectively carry out conservation goals alongside agricultural ones. Seed savers play an important role here too, since agricultural crops are becoming less and less diverse as the industry narrows in on a limited selection of varieties that are the most cost-efficient to grow. By planting and saving the seed of a diverse selection of plants, especially varieties that are at risk of extinction or extirpation, seed savers can contribute to conservation efforts which seek, in part, to mitigate loss of biodiversity. As the level of biodiversity increases, ecosystems become more resilient to disturbances. This too contributes to conservation efforts, while also realizing the second objective in helping the agricultural industry itself become more resilient amidst climate change and population growth. 
Increase in the diversity of crops, as well as their geographic distribution, lowers the risk of losing entire types of crops to industrial efficiency and disasters related to climate change, such as wildfires, floods, and disease. The values and principles reflected in the way that agriculture and seed saving is practiced at Salt Spring Seeds are highly aligned with current thinking and conservation and is representative of what is needed to create a sustainable and resilient agricultural system. My time at Salt Spring Seeds gave me the chance to learn and experience how conservation and agricultural objectives can be achieved in the same time and place by shifting towards small-scale sustainable agriculture and the potential for this to help create a more resilient and ecologically conscious future.